How's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to install Cache OS alongside Windows 11. Now, we're going to do this two different ways. We're going to first do it where we're going to install it on the same drive as Windows 11. And then the next time, we are actually going to install it on a separate drive. And both of these are going to allow us to pick and choose which operating system we want to run on startups. So when we boot up the computer, we'll actually be presented with a menu and we can make our choice there. So without further ado, we're going to power down the system and actually install our Cache OS boot image and head over there to the install. All right, so now we're booted up into the Cache EOS Live installer here. And all we have to do is actually hit Launch Installer. And then we're actually going to be presented with a menu here. We can choose which bootloader we want to use. Now you can do Grub, SystemMD, Refined, AI SDK, and Lemine. It really doesn't matter here, but I am partial to the Refined. I find that it's actually worked the best for me in the past. I've had some issues with Grub. If you guys feel more comfortable over one over the other, by all means, use that one. As we can see, SystemMD is used by default, but I'm going to go ahead and hit Refined. Now, after we make that selection, it's going to ask us what language we want to keep it as English. We're going to keep the region and the zone the same. We're also going to not mess with the keyboard settings as well. And this is where the magic's going to happen. Now we can do a couple different things. We can install alongside Windows. We can replace the entire partition, which we don't want to do. We can erase the disk, which again, we don't want to do because we want to keep Windows around. And then lastly, there is the manual partitioning. Now, I don't want to do any manual partitioning. I want to make this as easy for you guys as possible. So all we have to do is hit install alongside. And then you're going to see another bar come up. Now, this is our current drive setup and how we have it made. This is after. And what you need to do is actually click in the yellow space or whatever space is the biggest area where you want to install Cache OS. We'll go ahead and select that. Now, by default, I'm just going to leave it kind of as default as possible. I might even drag this, but you can drag how much space you want to have created for Cache OS and how much you want to leave for Windows. Um, let's give Cache OS maybe like 30 gigs and we'll leave 55 for Windows. Perfect. After you set that, all you have to do is hit next. Then you're going to be presented with what desktop you want to use, which is totally fine. Uh, pick which one you like. I'm just going to leave it as default and hit next. Then you're going to be presented with the additional packages. Again, I'm going to leave these as default, hit next. And then it's going to ask you what your name is, you define tech, what you want your account name to be. That's fine. And we're going to just put a simple password just for this example. Then we'll hit next. It'll show us what's going to happen here. We know that we're going to shrink down the partition of this drive and install Cache OS alongside Windows, which is perfect. We'll hit install. After that, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do this? And we are, so we'll hit install now. Now, Cache OS is going to go ahead and install everything, resize all the partitions and all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys back when it's finished. All right, as we can see now, our all done screen is up. We're going to go ahead and hit restart now, and we'll just hit done on this. Now on your next boot up, you should get a screen that looks something like this. And this actually allows us to switch between Windows and Linux. And it's really honestly that simple. Now it will auto default whatever your last chosen option was on a next restart. So if you booted into Windows and then shut it down and then restarted your computer, it would automatically default to Windows and would start up in that screen in like 10 seconds unless you interrupted it with the keyboard and then you can actually switch between the two. So we can see that we can go right into Cache OS, it will boot. And just like that, we're able to log into this as well. Now I'll show you guys how to do this. We'll restart the system and it'll automatically choose the Linux on the next boot. And we can see, yes, it. so it's 20 seconds, not 10 seconds like I thought originally. So you have 20 seconds to switch it over. And then if we want to go into Windows, it's really that simple, honestly, guys. And there we have it. There is Windows. Now I'm going to go ahead and reset the system. And then I will show you guys how to install Cache OS on a separate drive and still be able to choose between the two to boot. All right. And here we go. We're going to boot back into Cache OS here in the live image so that we can start the install process all over again. All right, so once again, we are presented here with our install. And again, we'll just hit launch installer. But this time we're going to be selecting that secondary drive. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Again, I'm going to choose refined. If you have a preference, feel free to use that. Go ahead and hit next. We're simply going to hit next, next, next. And now we're presented again with our installer screen. And now at the top, we're going to hit select storage device. And we're just going to do the 25 gig virtual disk. I am just going to go ahead and erase the entire disk because I don't have anything actually on this disk. Again, 
Feel free to use manual partitioning as well if you want. And you can also replace the partition as well. But since this drive is actually blank, I'm just going to do the erase disk as it's the easiest for me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Again, we'll just use Plasma Desktop. We'll use all the defaults. Again, I will put in my username. Again, hit next. It's going to tell us what it's going to do, which is totally fine. We'll hit install now, and then I'll see you guys after it's finished. All right, so again, our install is done. So we're going to go ahead and hit restart now and hit done. And again, we're presented with the same message here with the refined, and we can choose between the two operating systems. So the same rules apply as before. You have about 20 seconds to select and whatever your last selection you booted into and then shut down and restarted to, it's automatically going to default to. So it's really that easy, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, learned something new of how to dual boot into Windows and Linux at the same time. And as always, if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe down below and be sure to look out for more videos in the future.